you know you watch like videos where humans are like all together and they're all like hugging and talking and everybody's dancing together and singing together, right? And as a light worker, as light worker, as tri listen to me, I'm talking to you, the true light workers. Please get out of here with these chat GPT light workers. I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm talking to the true light workers. Those of you who truly came here to really absorb the, the human experience and to bring light to the human experience because you believe in the human experience. You believe in humans. We haven't given up on humans. And, and we cry for humans because we wonder why you don't just come together and just enjoy yourselves. Like, we wonder. We know that there must be darkness and light. We're not stupid. We know that. We're fully aware of the energy and how it needs to move. We're fully aware of it. However, we look around and then we see people come together and it's so beautiful when humans are coming together and we are connected and we are so lovely and loving. And then when we see us fighting and arguing over stupid shit that doesn't even matter, we cry. We cry and we cry. As empaths, we cry. We cry. You, if you're not feeling this video, then you're not a true empath. You're not a true light worker. You're not. And, I, and I'm not trying to tell you who you are, but I'm telling you that's what it is because only true light workers and true empaths cry for humanity fight for humanity no matter how many times that dark voice tells us what are you fighting for them for they don't care they're worthless they don't need you you know how it is you know the real spiritual war battle warriors know what time it is you know exactly what i'm talking about with this video you know we get the voice that tells us what are you even here for? Just do what you want to do. Enjoy yourself. Fuck these people, man. They don't give a shit about you. I, I don't want them to give a shit about me. I want them to give a shit about each other because I give a shit about me. I don't need nobody else to give a shit about me. But they talk in our ears and telling us, man, they're not worth it. Just let it go. But we still. And so we pray. We pray that we will make it through the day. I was listening to that song earlier and I got emotional. And it's because humanity is so beautiful when they come together. They're so peaceful. And then they act like animals. And it's like, what are you doing? It's like, you know, and it's there's two different worlds that we live in. We live in a world where people are happy, they're peaceful, they come together, and then there's hate and anger. And and both both sides are necessary for ascension, and this is very true. That's a very true statement. However, those of you who are true light workers, true battle angel warriors, true empaths and healers, you know what time it is. You want to do something. You want to make it right. You want to do something. But I'll tell you right now, don't, don't kill yourself trying to do something and make it right. Don't do that. Because I've learned very quickly to know that, yeah, I'm here to do the work. Yeah, I'm here to help the, the collective. I'm here to enlighten and awaken humanity especially right now the ascension we're going through is absolutely so so pivotal like it's important to us right now we are in this massive awakening and look at that it's 10 33 right there like if you don't know nothing about the number 10 and 33 put together you know jesus being 33 this is a code baby it's a code everything's a code <clears throat> Everything's a code. <clears throat> of course, block my throat chakra when I'm saying the most important thing. It's okay because you're not going to come through. You're not going to get through to us. We don't allow that shit to happen around here. You're blocking the throat chakra when it's time to give a message that's important. And I see number 55 five right there. I can't make this up. 10, 3, 3, and then 5, 5. All in sequence. All in sequence. That's a... 10 is a completion it's a new beginning it's an ending of a cycle 33 is the code it's a calling for you to get called to god to work for god to work for god not to get called to god to get work for god meaning work for yourself meaning to become the god that you truly are hey if you look at jesus he's you look at him as god right and he died at the age of 33 he died at the age of 33 that's a code that's the code. That's being called to your divine purpose. 33. And then 55. The changes that are coming in for the collective, for humanity. I'm getting hit in my head saying this. <sighs> Man. <clears throat> 
I pray for humanity every day, you know? And that's not just me saying that. I actually pray for humanity. I'm not, yeah, I'm not a little mind-based, right? My mind is large. It's, 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 it's expansive. It travels to different dimensions. It's multi-dimensional. It's multi-faceted. It's, it's creative. It's beautiful. It's emotional. It's encrypted. It's so many words that, like, hard to even fathom. And I know your brain is like this too. That's why you're watching this till the end. So what my message is for you is just to keep hold and steady. Know that we are ascending at a high speed right now. And it could feel emotional. And you could be tired because of it. So just take breaks. Ground your energy. Go outside. Take walks. Be outside. Try not to be in the house 24-7. But be outside in nature. Not Try not to... The collective is not in a pl good place right now mentally. A lot of people in the collective are in a negative space. But a lot of people are in a great space. So go enjoy that great space. Focus on you. I send you love and light. I hope this message in some way or another touched you. Touched your booty. Just, I'm kidding. But I love you. I will see you guys later.